The incident between Golden State Warriors teammates Draymond Green and Jordan Poole has gotten much worse than initially expected. Now, when it came out that there was an altercation between the two in practice, it kind of, everyone formed a narrative. Everyone kind of assumed, hey, it probably got heated while they were playing. Uh, someone might have said something. Maybe the tensions boiled over. You saw a lot of narratives quickly coming out about, oh, Jordan Poole's got a bit of an ego now, um, which Steve Kerr, Steph Curry, and other Warriors members have been quick to throw water on that one. But it kind of seemed like this was going to be an issue where, you know, Draymond was going to be fined, maybe, because you're not going to suspend him for the first game, which is ring night at home to open the season. And it kind of felt like that was going to be it. These type of things that happened before between teammates where, you know, it escalates a bit. You get um, some fights and tempers flare. Business as usual for the NBA, right? Well, Friday morning, TMZ somehow obtained the, the video footage. I don't even know what to call it. Like surveillance almost footage of the fight happening. And it is a thousand times worse uh, on Draymond Green's end than it could have possibly been imagined. So... Here we have them practicing. There's no audio on the video, which makes it a thousand times worse, too. So they're talking, but who knows if they're even talking to each other. Uh, Jordan Poole on one end, Draymond over here on the other end. They're talking. They're, they're not even looking like they're talking to each other. So Draymond starts wandering over. Looks like he's still saying something. Gets up on Jordan Poole's face. Jordan Poole says, get off me. And Draymond just hits him with... Like, that's not, like, tensions blare over. That's, like, um, I've lost... I need to put you out. Like, I need to put you down. Like, unreal. And then rushes him. I don't know, to the he the head rush. I don't know if that's... Here, let me... I don't know if that's, like, grab his head so he doesn't hit the back like you're an older brother that just hit your sibling a little too hard. Or if that's, like, he was that mad he wanted to, like, slam him into the wall, too. And, like... I'm not trying to sit here and speculate on that. Like, this this video is a terrible look no matter what the intent was. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, too, is this crazy-ass assistant trainer. I don't know who, but this dude who comes into frame when Draymond starts wandering over. Watch this. So Draymond starts wandering over. Here comes this dude in gray over here. All right, all right. Now, you, he looks like he's ready to stop this, right? Hey, uh-oh, uh, uh something's going on. This dude here... Uh oh, something's going on. Like we go, like no one's paying attention to this. Like feels like day one of working on a training staff for a professional team of any sports league, is hey if two players are talking, and they start getting closer to each other, and it sounds heated, we should probably step in. No one did that. So this dude in gray, in prime position to just put an arm out. Hey guys, knock it off. Hey, whoa, that's enough. The, Jordan Poole shoves him. Okay, now this dude in the gray is looking. This other gray dude looking. Him, still prime position, both of them. And they just stand there and watch him get hit. And then this dude comes in. Someone else comes running in. But this guy, who was there the whole time and could have stopped it, just stands there. Just stands there and watches. And, like, the players don't know how to react, obviously, because it happens so fast. Like, you have Kaminga here, and then it's just such a bad look for the the staff and everybody to just be standing around. And, like, the Warriors the organization uh, is kind of focusing on the wrong thing. Because this video came out this morning, and, of course, like, hours, hours later, Ramona Shelburne and Woj had this to say... The Golden State Warriors are taking every legal course of action to discover how the video of Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole during a scuffle at practice on Wednesday was made public. Green apologized to the team in Poole on Thursday before Warriors coach Steve Kerr, general manager Bob Myers, and teammate Steph Curry addressed the media regarding the incident. Then, Friday morning, TMZ published video of the practice which had been closed to the media. Sources told ESPN that the Warriors have been aggressively investigating both the incident and the release of the video. Really? Like, that's the message you want to have, is we're investigating it internally, but who leaked this video? What intern leaked this video because they're about to get fired and, and blacklisted from the league? Like, 
This is a tough thing because I'm sure these types of things happen a lot more than than we know. Maybe not now in the social media age, but certainly this is one of the few times that there's video of it. Like, we don't have video of Michael Jordan punching Steve Kerr. We do have video of Steve Blake getting in a fight um, a few years back. Um, but, like, the video just makes it so much worse. Because the NBA usually just lets this, lets this be resolved by the team. Uh, specifically, the incident that comes to mind is the, the Chicago Bulls had the incident with um, Nikola Miritich and Bobby Portis. And Bobby Portis, like, broke bones in Miritich's face in a locker room disagreement. And the Bulls suspended him, and that was that. The team handled it. With video out, showing that, like, like, there's no good look on this video. Because it's clear Draymond, like, in the moment, got mad and hit him. Whether it was something he said, whether it was tensions boiling over. Like, the narrative that Jordan Poole had an ego and was acting different... Kind of lost here. Kind of lost in the sauce here. Like, this is clearly just an instance of Draymond Green losing his cool. And in a contract year, wanting, you know, a max deal at his age, like, that's... This is, like, the worst thing that could happen for his agents. Unless this is all some 3D chess move to get to L.A. to play with LeBron, his clutch sports teammate. Um... But this, this whole thing is crazy. And of course, because the video's out now, all of the players have been reacting this morning, all different players. So we have Isaiah Thomas, who said, all I'm saying is you ain't responding with a punch if that's somebody you really rock with, especially after just a push. But I ain't in the practice, and I didn't hear what was being said, so I'm going to leave it alone, but damn. Like, it's true. Like, nothing, and I was talking to a friend about this this morning, nothing should lead to like that type of punch like you can shove each other back and forth and do the fake tough guy thing that they do in games but like that level of punch is like i hate you like that the vibe i get out of that is i hate you and i'm going to destroy you right now like this it just doesn't feel like a normal teammate thing so then we have john morant who responded with just the eyes uh emoji trey young draymond's really trying to get to la damn and, like, it's just so funny that that's, like, every player has that same thought. Like, oh, he just doesn't want to be there. Oh, he loves LeBron. Oh, he wants to. So we move on. We have uh, this interesting clip from months ago on his podcast where Draymond Green told this story. One thing that Jordan did that showed me he's going to be all right in this league actually happened in training camp of his rookie year. Jordan came into camp talking shit to everybody, and I remember one day, uh, him and Glenn Robinson the third, they got into it. All these guys are coming to me like, tell him to shut up. This young ass always got something to say. But I'm like, I'm not going to tell him to shut up. If you can't handle him talking shit, that's on you. At that moment, though, the way he was getting under guys' skin, I appreciated that. You know, you couple that with the hard work that he puts in and the amount of skill that he has. And it is a recipe for a guy who's going to be successful in this league. So there you go. <laughs> but I'm not going to give him between them because, like, it's all fun and games until you're the one getting the shit talked to. Like, it. I don't know. This makes it look even worse because he's saying, yeah, we all know Jordan Poole does this. It's part of what's going to make him great. And then we got video a month, month or two later him knocking the sense out of him because he probably didn't like something he said. Uh, and that, you know, that is not going to go away this season. There's going to be all sorts of, you, you think Boston's going to be nice to Draymond Green now after he said they were classless fans? Like, you think any team is not going to take the, every opportunity to make, like, Charmin soft jokes or fight jokes or anything? Like, this is going to follow the Warriors this entire season, no matter what they do to resolve it. If Draymond gets traded to somewhere, to the Lakers or somewhere else, guess what? He's going to hear it wherever he goes on those teams. It's not going to go away just because he's gone. And if the Warriors trade Jordan Poole as a result of all of this, that's even worse because then you're getting rid of a talented player who just helped power you to your fourth championship. And everywhere you look at this, this is a mess. And this is going to follow this team for the entire season at least. So then we had former players weighing in. Uh, David West said, fire whoever leaked that video. Got a whole bunch of mofos who can't be trusted. Everybody wrong. As soon as Dre start walking, somebody's supposed to get in front of him. That's what I thought. Looks like the video guys and support staff got more heart than some of the chumps on the sideline. 
Exactly. So the the video people put it out because it's like, hey, we can't have this. Like, oh, it was normal thing. Like, someone in the video room either got a massive bag from TMZ or was like, hey, this is pretty screwed up. We can't have this like happening. We can't let Draymond do this to Jordan Poole, and then like the narrative just be that Jordan Poole has an ego. But then the thing that's really gonna like force the issue on everything is what Evan Fournier had to tweet, which was. There is no way you can get back to being teammates after a punch like that. Like, and I I agree. I have not been an NBA player. I have never been in an NBA locker room. Uh, I know, it's shocking. But this, to me, is the most, like, the thing hanging over this the most. You punch someone like that for seemingly no reason. A lot of players and, and former players have been calling it a sucker punch. You do that. And there's no going back from it. There's, there's That relationship has changed. And with Draymond, he wants the max deal. He's probably looking at, you know, getting paid, like the legacy type deal that a lot of older players tend to get. Um, and getting paid for, like, past performance. But based on what we saw in the playoffs where he was, you know, he was underwhelming a lot of the time, followed up by something like this, not to mention the issues that have happened with other players on other teams. And four years ago, three, four years ago with with KD when they were teammates and it all just adds up to a bad look like it's just a bad look and one or it feels crazy and hyperbole to say in the moment but like one of them is probably going to have to go because you can't have this cloud hanging over that team because the strength of the Warriors is the chemistry them knowing where each other are going to be on the court at all times is essential to the Golden State Warriors on-court basketball and play and success and all of that. Draymond Green knows where Steph Curry is going to be before Steph Curry is back across half court. Klay Thompson and Steph Curry know where each other are going to move to without the ball when they have the ball. They know who to look for, they know what to do, and they know when to do it. And something like this could just disrupt everything. So as hard as it would be to move on from someone like Draymond Green... I mean, I would imagine the team doesn't really want to pay him $120 plus million plus now based on on-court diminishing results, seemingly, and then now this. Um, and I'm sure this is something where they're going to look, you know, they'll look to see how Moses Moody or Jonathan Kaminga, even James Wiseman, kind of creating out of that center role. Like, if one of them can really step up, I think that makes it even more likely that, that this team, this core looks completely different by the time the season's done. There was also uh, Steven Jackson weighed in. He said, there's no reason to sucker punch the young fella. I told Draymond last night he has to fix the situation with Jordan Poole. You never hit your teammates in practice, man. And that's, you know, it's true. You don't do that. And yes, this is just uh, more players referring to it as sucker punch. But the thing that I don't like is that Draymond has been so silent about it. No tweets. No podcast or emergency anything. The dude who's all about leadership and, and tough love and and being an OG and new media hasn't said a word. All of this is out there. All of the speculation's gone crazy. Now, there's a chance that the Warriors have said, hey, don't you say a thing. We're investigating this. I don't need you. We don't need you out there doing this, uh, making it worse or anything. But some acknowledgement of anything that has happened over the last couple of days would be probably in the best interest because the longer it just goes radio silent while that video is out there, the worse it's going to be. And like, maybe it's not fair. Maybe it's something that, you know, we should have been able to handle investigating and everything. But given the, the attitude that they had, who knows what would like now it feels like we're at a point where he has to be traded or suspended. Like, suspended at least, if he's on the team, I mean, well, the season starts in a week, so he'll be on the team in a week, most likely. If he's on the team, he has to be suspended for ring night, like, at least, opening day. You have to suspend him for a game and fine him, because you can't have this video getting out. Then there's pressure on the NBA, I'm sure, to do something, depending on what the discipline's going to be from the team, because this puts the NBA in a bad light. 
every player that was doing interviews today on like ESPN and everywhere else had to come on and talk about this. I watched Kevin Love give an answer about this. Someone asked Mike Brown about it after King's practice. I saw that video. Like this is going to be a question that's going to linger around because this video got out because the video looks as awful as it does. We need an intern now to leak the audio. That would be really incredible if we could get the full story, but it's, it's so far, this is all we have to go off of. And, no matter what the audio could be, a lot of the former players, a lot of the current players kind of seem to agree that there's no reason to just sucker punch a teammate like that. Like, why would you do that? There's no, there's no rhyme or reason. And with, you know, like I said, diminishing results in on-court performance, uh, you want $120 million plus on a max deal. And then this type of stuff, it's just, it's putting the Warriors in a really hard spot. So I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting, maybe Sports World's overreacting. Uh, if you have thoughts on all this, please uh, let me know, share them in the comments section. I appreciate everyone watching this, Warriors fans in particular. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, on, on if this changes, you know, what you want for the team. If you think the team should, should maybe move on from Draymond or try to trade Jordan Poole and get a lot back. Um, just kind of what you expect or what you what your thoughts are after seeing all this. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone enjoys the weekend. Uh, and I will talk to you soon.